Happy New Year! Um, I hope all of you had a wonderful end of 2016. I know many of you were looking forward to the beginning of 2017 because 2016 was a little bit of a rough year. So I thought it would be fun as we're looking forward into the new year to take a little bit of a look at what might be coming our way. Um, I'm going to be using the tarot, a wonderful tool to be getting some insight. And so let's first start by looking at what's likely to be happening in the first quarter of 2017. Well, it looks like uh, this is incredibly encouraging. The first card that pops up is the Temperance card. The Temperance card is all about balance. It has the Archangel Michael featured on it. So this is showing that our world that has been thrown upside down is finally going to be finding some balance, some equality, some sense of uh, peace. As you'll hear my little munchkin in the background, uh, she has to, wants to add her two cents, it seems, as well. Um, but this is incredibly encouraging because it is a major arcana card, so there's going to be some big shifts. Um, I, in the United States, is which where I'm going to be looking at this. Um, this is encouraging because we do have some big events. We have the inauguration coming January 20th um, of our president-elect um, and the new president, Trump, which has caused a lot of upheavals and a lot of dissension and a rift in the country. I'm encouraged by seeing that this there will be a balance and this will be strong. What the challenge is going to be is that movement forward. There's going to be this victory, but at the same point, as we're charging forward, not everybody's going to like the direction we're going in. Intuitively, I do feel as though this is going to be more on an international level, where we are going to be seeing some rifts in yeah, yeah. our political um, atmosphere with our allies as well as our enemies and our foes. Oh, are you giving me some tea? What is the uh, advice for the country and for each of you? Because you'll be seeing this both on a national level, but you'll also be seeing this in your own life. You'll be finding yourself finding getting balanced, but not everybody liking where you're going. And not everybody singing your praises. What the advice is for the country, as well as for each one of you in your daily lives, is to go against tradition. Break the status quo. Do things a little bit different. If you've always handled a situation in a particular manner and it's worked for you, chances are it's not going to be working for you in the first quarter of the year. Do something, shake it up a little bit. This is a new era. This is a new beginning. So do have fun with it and see where else you might be able to go. Again, it's encouraging because it's another major arcana card. Major arcana is where the hand of God is stepping in and helping each one of us do something a little bit different, put opportunities in our um, path. It is the serendipities that occur in our lives. So that is the first quarter of 2017. A lot of the same, a lot of difference, um, but it, balance will be struck. Let's take a shift. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody watching live have questions about any of that? And no questions? So we are going to keep on going. And if you do have questions, please feel free to um, shoot them our way. So this uh, second quarter of 2017, so from April through June, let's see what is in store for us. <clears throat> Again, big events occurring. When it comes to um, what we're going to be seeing both nationally and as well as in your life, individually you have the high priestess another major arcana card coming up this is a big deal so far six cards we've pulled 
half of them are Major Arcana cards. Only 22 of the 78 cards in the deck are Major Arcana. And what we are seeing is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is all about the mysteries of the world. As you'll see, she is sitting between the two pillars, uh, black and white, with this veil behind her. We like to see in our world that things are black and white, and yet they're not. We know there are many shades of gray, that which is behind the veil. In the second part of 2000, if, or the second quarter, excuse me, of 2017, you're going to be seeing where that balance is bringing up new information, new ideas, new, we're going to be able to see the world in a very different way. This is where we're going to be seeing um, invention. This is where we're going to be seeing seeing new balances struck and we're going to have bright new ideas that are coming from angles that we've never thought of before. You're going to be starting that as I said you're going to want to be breaking from the status quo in that first quarter. The second quarter is where they're going to be birthed and they are going to be coming from the collective consciousness. What's going to be leave this a little bit hard is those ideas are not going to be embraced at first. They It's going to seem a little bit hard. It's going to be an uphill battle. You're going to be feeling like, again, you don't have support. The advice, however, is do not stand still. When you have that stroke of genius, move forward and don't wait until the apple is ready to be plucked. Pluck it early and rush forward with what you've got. If you wait too long, something is go you're going to be losing that opportunity. That is the second quarter of 2017. A lot of the same. We're going to be it's going to be slow. It's going to be a progression. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a sip of water. And as we move into the third quarter of 2017, another major arcana card. Every single one of these cards, when it is what is occurring, are major arcana. So another big thing happening. We have the hermit card. The hermit card is all about introspection. It is showing up reversed in this reading. So what it, that is telling me is that as opposed to going inward and finding the answers within, which we've been doing from the first half of the year, as we get into July through September, this is where we're going to start going outward. When it has come from the first half of the year, you're not gonna be wanting to have in, you're gonna be putting your own house in order when it comes to the United States, they're going to be getting their own stuff in order as well as really dealing with those uh, diplomatic um, things outside of the United States in our international debates. When it comes to the hermit, this is going to be, looks like Little Munchkin wants to join us and see what's going on. And so when it comes to this, do... Uh, start going outside, start brainstorming, start getting those people together to have new and brilliant ideas. Again, there is not going to be a lot of, there's going to be quite a bit of dissent. There's going to be quite a bit of problems where people don't like what is going on. My adv and I do feel as though it is likely in this um, July to September time frame where you're going to be seeing a lot of conflicts, a lot of battles, a lot of ups and downs, uh, internal struggles as well as external struggles. And as it comes to that, I want to encourage you not to rush into anything too quickly. Bite your tongue. Oh. Don't go to war. Don't.
fight battles that are not necessarily clear what the outcome may or may not be. By biting your tongue, being diplomatic, being honest and open is going to alleviate any struggles that you may have in the time that is coming. It's going to be a tough part of the year. From July to September, be careful. And with that, I'm going to be moving in to the last part of 2017. <clears throat> And in the last part of 2017, it's going to be a time for standing your ground. There's going to be some unexpected occurrences. Things that come from the outside that we can't imagine in your life nationally. The one thing I encourage you to do is to continue to work hard pay attention to all of the details. Don't dismiss what is being said. Listen to what people have to say. Listen to the advice that comes from all sources. Don't be proud. Don't be arrogant. And don't be ignorant. Listen to everything that are coming from all different types of sources. When it comes to the, to the end of 2017, well, it's going to be tough is from what it's looking. From our time, wow. our toughness, that is when we learn the biggest lessons. The tower card for me is always a scary card, or at least it used to be when it would come up in a reading, because this means big, earth-shattering change. However, as I have matured as a tarot re card reader, I've matured as an adult, what I have learned about the tower card is it is that aha moment. It is that strike of brilliance. It is that time when you look at something, you look at the situation, and everything becomes crystal clear to you. And I do feel as though we're finally going to have that when it comes to the end of 2017. We're going to be finding the balance, setting the foundation for the beginning of 2017. As we get to the end of 2017, that is when, if we pay attention to details, if we all pay attention and swallow our pride, we will have the opportunity to change the way we see the world. And 2018 is going to be brilliant. Lots of lessons to be learned in 2017. I'm going to pull a bonus card. And if anybody has questions, please feel free to shoot them my way. And I love this card. The outcome card for 2017 is we are going to be stronger than yesterday. I hear Cher singing in my ear. Um, if I didn't have a cold, I would be singing myself. Um, but the end of 2017, we are going to find ourselves stronger. We're going to find a strength that we have not had in the past. What is also amazing about this is that strength is going to come from not aggression, but from understanding, compassion, and the feminine side of strength and love. And that is what I have forecasted for 2017. Big picture, um, if you're looking for what might be occurring in your uh, world in 2017, uh, purchase a email tarot reading. Get an astrological spread for your 2017. And those that are in queue, don't worry, you'll be getting them later today or early tomorrow. Many blessings. Happy New Year. I wholeheartedly and 
am excited about 2017 as we strike balance and we have those aha moments and we continue to grow as a species. Lots of love. Talk to you again soon.